Gordon Pavilion to see a former junior Kiwi rugby league player take centre stage in the rock world. The former lock forward's name is John Stevens, better known as lead singer of rock band Noiseworks. <laughs> John Stevens was celebrating the launch of his new album, Love Vs. Money, a little earlier this week, but also entertaining thoughts of celebrating a Kiwi victory. Kiwis, mate. Go for it, I reckon. You know? I mean, it's good because Australian rugby league, I mean, you've been so predominant for all, so many years, you know, you're definitely the best, and it's good to be beaten every now and again. <laughs> so, you know, to be beaten by a Kiwi, why not? You know? <laughs> I love football, you know, and uh, I love the, the competitiveness of it and the, the uh, you know, the physicalness of it. And um, I was starting playing with five. Uh, the Upper Hutt Tigers, who I played for, was uh, like around the corner from where I was brought up. So, you know, from the under 30s upwards, I was playing representative football right through the under 70s when I had to retire because I started a singing career. Plenty to look at and plenty to play for at the launch of Noiseworks' latest album, Love Vs. Money. Even the Balmain boys were there, guests of lead singer, John Stevens. This thing all on 13. 13. Lucky number. All on the blank. All on the Well, John, just how closely do you follow rugby league? Brought <laughs> that close. <laughs> no, I watch all the games, you know, and... Uh, I, was, I went up to the, the last State of Origin game up in uh, Brisbane, uh, which was great. It was great to, to be there, see Wally's last game. Right? And I, I've been to the grand final last three years, fortunately being back in Australia at that time. So as, as often as I can, I, I you know, go to the league, but I always watch it. Two of those grand finals, Balmain played, and then they lost. That's right. <laughs> That's right, mate. Do you wear your jumper? <laughs> of course, me and Jimmy Barnes, we were there, man. <laughs> It's, it's true. Jim and I went along and we, we were going. Yeah, Jimmy's a Balmain supporter That's as well. Right, yeah. While the party raged, our camera scooped MTV's OB by walking in on Noiseworks, warming up backstage. And with them, a special guest and friend, Jimmy Barnes. And John was showing Jimmy just how to do the Harker rock and roll style. I'm a Kiwi and I'm, I'm a you know, Maori, so, uh, you know, you sort of have that sort of warrior in you, I think. Body kill a black ball and the big man is going to score and he's going to run it a little bit closer. Richie Blackmore is over for the Kiwi's second try. You've had some pretty tough coaches in your years. Uh, <laughs> as a junior, Kevin <laughs> Tammany, they tell me, coached you once. Yeah, Kevin right. did, yeah. He was, uh, when I was playing under 15s, Kevin was our coach. And he, this is before he played for the Kiwis. I think this was like uh, two or three years before he started his um, Kiwi career. Back then, rugby league wasn't a very you know, well-liked game, really. It was um, predominantly uh, mouldy you know, players, and uh, whereas nowadays when I go home, it's it's the big game, it's bigger than the All Blacks nowadays, so. Look at the big man, takes While Jimmy helped close the show, the beginning was all noise works, with John Stevens showing why he's destined to become a big, big star in the rock and roll world. Colourful, mate. We just wanted something that was colourful. Jeez, you look like a front row on that cover. <laughs> Pretty rough looking shot. <laughs> well, it always works live, mate. We tend to sweat and grunt a bit, so, you know. <laughs> Not unlike a game. And there is another try. The coup is to win the series. Where do you think they can win it? <laughs> we'll be celebrating for months. <laughs> And good luck to John Stevens and Noiseworks with the launch of that great new album.